Okay, let's try out this new custom ROM. Maybe some of you are not aware of, but if you are already, this one is Neoteric OS, which is based on Android 16, but not QPR1 I'm talking about. It's available for a few of the devices. Uh, maybe very few devices has a support for official I'm talking about, but unofficially it's available for a few of the devices. So you can give it a try. It's available for Poco F5 in this case, which I'm using on my device, which are things included. It, it is kind of similar to Paranoid Android Custom ROM if you have ever heard about that. Let's have a quick look at the default launcher first of all. If you see, this is based on launcher 3 kind of things with a few of the features and things are like that. Not exactly similar but kind of similar to that. If you see, we have app drawer customizations, home screen, icons and also has the option for this taskbar. If you want to enable it, you can. This is how things are going on. Including these kind of things, let me show you the, the recent panel also. This is the one which we have, which have the clear all button and this one other icon, which is something okay. Including this thing, uh, what we, what else do we have? If you move on the quick settings panel, quite simple, quite minimal. As it is not based on the latest QPR1 update, so which simply means the new quick settings panel is not there, but is it is also inspired from latest QPR1 with the brightness slider is a different one, but you can resize the tile you can simply change the shape or basically you can reshape or so kind of thing something similar to that you can reposition them and so on including this thing if you move on to settings UI it looks quite simple it looks quite minimal it does not have major customizations but still it does have few of the tweaks available by the way this is not based on AOSP this is CLO so basically you can say more performance as compared to AOSP and it looks like that more smoothness if you install this thing on a device you'll get to know more about it cloned apps feature is there if you want to create clones of some of the apps you can do so what about app lock it's available it is working fine you can use it many users actually look forward to this feature in a custom room and it's available so definitely you can give it a try protected apps and so on hidden apps option is also there so you can simply hide the apps from launcher in case you want to uh, this might be a very useful feature for some of the users like you also as it does not have a lot of customizations or features but still few of the things like we have the key box option available we have the option for hiding the developer status option for hiding screen capture status also this disable forcing strong integrity which is related to play integrity so they have these options available it also has option for a few of the tweaks like heads up notification that has heads up less annoying feature available we also have snooze timer and few of the tweaks available here and there it also has a status bar ticker available this is not available with many other custom rooms right now like if you use android 16 based custom rooms most of the custom rooms does have most of the custom rooms does not so it's kind of 50 50 few of the custom rooms have that few of them not if you move on to sound and vibration settings, it has a very useful thing named as vibrate to indicate call status, a very basic feature, but unfortunately as it is not available in some of the custom rooms, so just wanted to let you know. It also has a per app volume control available and if you use Poco F5, Dolby Atmos is also here. If you move on to wallpapers and style, again, as I just told you, it's not based on QPR1. So the new wallpaper and style UI, new status bar icons, all those things are not present. But this wallpaper and style UI does have the option for icon pack customizations, fonts customizations, few of the tweaks related to lock screen also present in this case. So you can use it in case you want to. The lock screen clock styles are also here. If you move on to gestures option, one other thing which many users actually need, swipe to screenshot. It's available, it's working fine. Play by control is here and it does have device specific gestures available. So you can use a double tap on the back of the back of the phone or these triple tap gestures, double tap gestures. You can use them on a device in case you want to. I personally don't use these kind of features much, but it's available. So just wanted to let you know. Also, if you move on to security section, the app lock is present. So even if you change the launcher, you still get the app lock support. That's good. But if you move on to more security settings, you'll see no storage restrict. That is a very useful thing. This might be useful in some scenarios uh, that also can be convenient in some cases, but may lead to privacy leaks. So remember that. Keep this thing in your mind. Everything else is just kind of similar. So if you want to give it a try, as I just told you, it's available for only few of the devices officially. Unofficially, it's available for few of the devices too. 
so you can check out xta you can check out telegram if your device supports that this is it thanks for watching hope you like this video if you like this make sure to drop a like and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks so